If we do find Lantern, we're going to kill him. We are going to kill him. Not for revenge. I was going to say not for money, but that, that would be a lie. Because it'll be partly for money. But just partly to make this over. It just should be over. And we're back. We're just outside Silverwood. We're still in Carruthers Canyon. And if you're busy adjusting your sets and saying to yourself, there's no sound, there's no sound except your voice. There's sound. Just not a lot of it. The place has gone eerily silent once more. Which is perhaps appropriate. We are going to leave this, well, I would almost say cursed place. A place filled with death and despair. I'm not going to do a recap of what has happened here. I think we are pretty much aware of that. And the last thing to do now is to leave Carruthers Canyon where we failed to find Glanton. Maybe we'll find him out in the wastelands. But right now, I just want to get the hell out of here and find something, well, to take my mind off it. Um, you stand poised to depart Carruthers Canyon and return to the Mojave Wasteland. Once you leave, you will be unable to return for the foreseeable future. Oh, no, how will I survive? Are you sure you're ready to leave? Ooh, um... Okay, the next... Um... You're strongly advised to dismiss all companions except Russell before proceeding. That could be an issue because, well, we've got Arcade, but he's on the other end of this tunnel. You're strongly advised to dismiss all companions except Russell before proceeding. Stay in... Depart, Depart from the Mojave Wasteland. We're leaving. We are leaving. So it happened that the battle over Caruthers Canyon concluded with a decisive victor the town of Silverwood. The actions of three outsiders, the Courier, Russell, and Glenn, had irrevocably changed the canyon. With their tribe decimated by Glenn, the remaining Sand Wolves fled Caruthers Canyon, forever traumatized by the destruction of their kin. Though few in number, the survivors swore an oath to enact vengeance on Glenn and the Courier who failed to stop him. With the canyon securely in NCR hands, Silverwood quickly developed into a regional hub for mining and commerce. Settlers from across California flocked to the town, eager to share in its prosperity. Civilization had made its mark. Within a few years, most of the townsfolk had never heard of the Sand Wolves, though a few would never forget. Eventually, word of a great duel in Utah reached town. Travelers said the courier had died, then rose again to fight the man in black. The people of Silverwood prayed for the courier, though they feared the worst. Prompted by the courier's timely intervention, Vickers eventually won his fight with substance abuse. Aided by the followers, he would find new purpose counseling homeless veterans who struggled with alcoholism and addiction to chems. In time, Vickers heard rumors of the courier's death, but also of his resurrection and a duel with the man in black. He would pray for the courier and for justice. Slain in the bowels of Chola Mountain, Endershot's piece of the arms trade would die with him. The Van Graffs quickly moved to secure his clients and solidify their position in the Mojave. The disillusion with their lot in the Mojave, Finley remained loyal to the Khans, if only out of respect to his late friend Chance. In his private moments, he hoped to live long enough to see the Khans revitalized, but mercifully destroyed. Reveling in the defense of Silverwood, Charlie's bravery was lauded by the townspeople of Silverwood. However, 
Without service records to authenticate his past deeds, Charlie remained homeless and unemployed. Though the citizens of Silverwood warmed to Charlie, he grew bitter at the lack of opportunities. Shortly after the battle, he took his own life. Emboldened by the courier's advice, Briggs sold his shares in the saloon and headed west. His unique cinema-themed saloons quickly flourished and grew into a popular chain, bringing Briggs wealth and recognition. He would use his newfound wealth to finance dozens of films, all of them directed by Albert Breach. Unfortunately, while visiting the set of Bride of the Death Claw, Briggs would be decapitated by a vertebrate rotor in a freak accident. Mourned by hundreds in the growing film industry, he would be immortalized in a bronze statue outside Albert Breach Studios. Shrewdly avoiding the battle with the Legion, Miss Cat continued servicing throngs of enthusiastic clients. Unfortunately, the peace came at a price. As more families moved in, ordinances against prostitution eventually compelled her to move on. After leaving town, she traveled to New Reno, where she was rumored to thrive as a fluffer in the pornographic film industry. Having fallen to Russell's knife, Mayor Brandon was given an obligatory funeral service even though the townsfolk held him in contempt. His term as mayor would eventually be commemorated with an ornate toilet constructed in the town hall. Enjoying the security of his position in the mine, Sullivan decided to remain in Silverwood. Moving on? Perhaps? No? Okay, I was feeling pretty guilty, but if my punishment is to spend eternity looking at this man's face, I'd like to appeal. Yippee! Yeah. And we're back! In the wasteland! Yes, we finally left! Misery Canyon behind us! Although not before being force-fed spoonfuls of guilt with a side helping of accusation. That was possibly one of the least productive and least um, satisfying jobs we've ever done as, as bounties go. I mean, we didn't actually get it. We haven't earned anything. We got nothing. We completely failed to kill Glanton. We've got absolutely nothing to show for this except heartache and a lot of people who really hate us i say us me they hate me they're blaming the courier for all this if you notice that they don't blame russell the man who dragged the courier to the place or the man that i'm sorry he's the one that killed the mayor he's the one that said we shouldn't kill glanton in the town because it would upset the people and he didn't want to get into a fight with the people and that's why the, um, um, the, oh god, I've forgotten what the name is, Sandwolves, Sandwolves. That's why they got killed, but it's all my fault, it's all the courier's fault, have you noticed that? I have to say though, Russell, I do approve of the new outfit. He got himself a new outfit just before he left, he decided he needed a, a bit of a change, and I kind of approve. He's gone back to the whole Desert Ranger look, and... Big thumbs up. It definitely... It sticks with Team Jack, doesn't it? Jack's gang. Although... Arcade, arcade, arcade. Um... Dude, we have got to do something about this. This is just, um... In, in, like the whole nerdy doctor thing, it's 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 bordering on psychopath doctor as well. I mean, you, you could definitely, I could, I could definitely see you being a serial killer with that outfit on. There's something kind of slightly crazy about it. So I think we should, we need to keep our eyes out for something that works for him. 
Oh, God knows, I can't imagine anything working for him. Can you? Yeah, all right, boys. We need... We need to get our minds off this. We need to go out there and start earning money. Money has a way of making you, uh, you know, forget things. It just that and whiskey. Money and whiskey. We need money, whiskey, and, and a fight. We need a good fight. We definitely need... We should go get some bounties. No, 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 no. You know what we should do? We need, we need a pick-me-up. We need something to make us feel better about ourselves. We need to go and visit the orphanage. We've got an orphanage. We finished an orphanage. I mean, people can't hate us for that. We spent 20,000 bloody caps on it. 20,000 caps on it. It better be the best orphanage ever. I'm fairly sure there was discussion of a statue. Which only seems fair, really. Ooh. And a parade. That's what we need. An opening parade. The grand opening of Jack's Orphanage. A big sort of parade. Okay, where was the... Right, no, the van was at the outpost. Okay, we're going to run to the van. And I tell you what, on the way there... Where was that orphanage? Think of the children. Speak with Esther about improving the orphanage. Is that going to cost me money? Probably. Yeah, we've got to go to the van. And... Where the hell's the orphanage? Oh, it's near the clinic. It's near the medical clinic. We should stop in and see if they've got rad away. And... Um, Let's do some selling on the way. We're passing God knows how many traders on the way. We should be able to make a bit of uh, money. Definitely looks like it's getting a bit darker, doesn't it? What? Oh, God, God. Okay, we got... Oh, God, these guys. Okay, put your bloody fists away. What are you going to... What is wrong with you? I saw you with your fists. Shoot them with your plasma thing. One, two. Okay. That's the way. Obviously didn't want to join in. What can I say? Maybe he thought I would spare him if he didn't attack. I have absolutely no idea why he would think that, but it's all I can think of. Jackal gang member? Fairly sure I didn't kill you. Oh, wow. These guys have got some decent stuff, you know. They really do. Crispy squirrel bits. Um, okay. That's worth a bit. It's worth a bit. Oh, God. Right, I better do some repairing of stuff. Don't need that. Ripper. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, do some ripper. <laughs> better do it now before I... Right, what do I have? Oh, cancel. That's a little better. A little lighter. What did you have on you? Okay. You had... Oh, those are worth quite a bit as well. Pulse grenade. Pulse grenade? Okay. Okay. Seriously, when we get attacked, can you, can you, are you, no, I've got you set to miss, that uh, to, uh, ranged. That's kind of, kind of a cool view as you come up here with the lights behind, isn't it? Huh. Is that person, wait, 
You Whoop. taking in the magnificence of the NCR's grand monument? Nothing like rusty scrap metal to capture the imagination. I was just looking. A giant iron dick pointed towards the Mojave would be more apt, in my opinion. Uh, NCR doesn't shake hands. Okay. Fuck you in the ass with a bear cock. I was just saying it looked good with the lights behind it. I mean, don't get... What's wrong with the monument? Can't we just ignore it like everybody else? If you keep bitching about the NCR everywhere we go, this is going to be a brief partnership. No, you you, you can bitch about the NCR. I'm just a little weirded out by the whole bear cock thing. What's wrong with the monument? Everything, my friend. First, it's not true. A paper was signed. It's not like everybody met up and shook hands. Rank and file found out afterwards. Swear an oath to the NCR or hit the bricks, they said. It wasn't enough to erase the rangers. They had to construct this piece of shit. Well, Just look at it. It's as if a gang of mutants were handed an arc welder and some scrap metal and told, get to it. It's an insult. Well, all right, it's, it's not. I mean, you know, it's not a Michelangelo or anything, but... Dude, it's... Like about... 80 foot tall. It's pretty impressive. Um, okay, let's not annoy him. I see, thanks for clearing that up. Can't you just ignore it like everyone else? Would you shut up about the goddamn rangers? I'm... No, not... Ready. We're, no, we're, got, we're trying to find a happy place. Let's just smile and smile and grin and say, yes, yeah. Anytime. No problem. Great, yes. See, now every time I look at it, I think of a bear. I'm sorry, can I help you? Caravaneer? Hey there. Okay, apparently not. Oh, um... Are you... Do we have merchants? No, mercenary... Travelling merchant! Hey there. Need anything? Lots of caps. Sure. Here's what I got. As long as what you've got is cat. Oh, we are going to get along famously. Yes. Do you have anything I can have in... I'll take. Okay, let's have a look a little more carefully. Um, Radex, I will take it. Um, and I'll take those free cases, because why the hell not? And that's about... You're, you're getting the better end of this deal. I just really need to offload some crap, I'm afraid. Uh, not crap. Choice merchandise. And then there was... Oh, God, it's the sarcastic lady. I, I never feel good ever after talking to her. She always makes me feel completely... She's just snarky. And I'm such a pleasant, nice person. Background? Just my luck. What'll it be this time? How about just... <sighs> Take a look. Whoa! S okay, I take it all back! Really? No! You know what? Be as snarky as you like! If you've got those kind of caps, you can be as unpleasant as you like, as long as you are passing caps like that in my direction. I've got one of those. Okay... I can sell the super sledge, but that would be now. You've only got a couple hundred more left. What have you got for sale? Let's have a look. Weapons. Um, a really terrible shotgun. Got it. Whiskey can. Right away! You got right away! You got. You can be as rude as you like to me. You can be so unpleasant. And I will smile. Yes, I will smile. Oh, money and right away. Oh, bye bye. Fine then. See you again. I will be coming back here to your excellent establishment. Your excellent right away stocked. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish establishment. you a winner. Okay, awesome. Um. Okay, maybe we should, um, 
get a night's sleep before we wander around the rest of the uh, nice shades. Come here. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Oh, you got. I'll take that. And why have you got two rippers? I'll have that. I can sell those. Eyeglass. No, right. I've got spare authority glasses. Let's have a look. Okay, dude. I just gave you authority. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin. Okay? Really? You're, you're, you're just going to... You're going to stick... Wait a minute. I took one plasma defender from you. And apparently all of them went. Okay? I thought you had multiple. All right. Um... Give me the eyeglasses and put on the authority glasses. Okay. Okay, if we if we okay. If we just kind of zoom in and try and forget the white coat thing. My first instinct was to laugh and giggle, but mm, then it was quickly overtaken by you kind of look terrifying. The whole bleach blonde hair thing with the... I mean, you still got the nerdy... Get Have we got anything else? Have we got anything else we can give you? Just, 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 sure. Just, just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? You're, you're, you're beginning to look a little like a badass, but you still sound not like a wasteland doctor fatigues. They might suit you. They may suit you. Let's have a look. You're not in not interested? Can sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Okay, so not as good as what you're wearing is basically what you're saying to me. I could give you armor of tight. I don't think I should give you armor of Titus. I'm not sure if it's you. It it's it's the other glasses have got that whole nerdy thing going. Whereas this hey. is you got a slight badass kind of thing going now. Which, considering you and the plasma defender thing, might be more appropriate. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave that on for a while. We'll see if we get used to it. We have got to get you a new outfit, though. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have a, a night's sleep, and, um, you boys can, you know, Make yourself comfortable out here. Um, I'll be okay. right here, Chief. Just don't be gone long. H have a good night. My sunburn. Okay, now Cliff doesn't always have a huge amount of money, but you never know. It's been a. W Now you're going to judge, aren't you? Yes, you are. I can see it in your face. Even with the sunglasses on, you're going to judge. Cliff! Wakey, wakey, what are you doing in here? Please, whatever it is you're doing, stop. Cliff? Okay, w watch the... P p never mind. Don't. Just... How you doing? I'm hey there. If you want to buy something from a shop. What time is it? Come. Dude, it, it, it's, it's, it's. Get your lazy backside in that shop and start selling stuff to me. No, start buying stuff from me. My bad. See, you flustered me. You grief. Okay, are you open now? Come here. How you doing? I'll be doing a lot better when you... Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Lots and lots of caps. I killed Genie May. Do I still get a discount? Why would I be telling you that? Sure thing. Ha I will have a look. It's, it's, you know, I, you know, I hate to tell you this, but I'm, I'm sort of proportionally happy to see you based upon the amount of caps you have for me. And, and... I mean, it's, it's, it's not... Ooh, I'm getting happier. Little happier. I would have been happier still with Rad away. But hey, just to just... 
Every little bit helps, I suppose. Okay, what, what can I... What excellent piece of equipment can I give you in exchange for those caps that you obviously do not need any longer? Ripper. I can give you the Ripper. Satchel charge. Oh, that's a mine that's... Oh, keeping that. Shish kebab. Nope. Thermic lamp. Oh, we should dump some of this stuff in the... Let's dump some of this stuff in the van as well. All right, you know what? To find 200 caps worth of stuff. I probably don't have any items worth 200 that I'm selling. I'm generally not at home to small change. 200 caps. Come quite far, really. All right, next stop. The 188. You know, this actually doesn't... Hear reports of Legion raiding parties all over the place. It can't all be rumours. This doesn't seem to be the world's most likely place for Radaway, does it, actually? Have a look. A hundred... It's not hugely... Oh, what have you got? First of all, let's always look at what you've got. Cat eye! Oddly enough, welcome to a whole new experience. I'm happy to meet everybody I've met today. You're the... You're the... Well, if we count last night as well, you're the third person on the run. I have been genuinely happy to see because you have got something I need. That probably speaks badly of me. But you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm in a happy place. I'm richer than I was. And I have slightly more Radaway, Radex, and other useful stuff. Let's just Thanks. take the wins Bye. where we can. How about you? Are you going to make me feel happy? Feeling thirsty? I'd like to be with you. You bet. I was about to say... Oh, no, I... Well, scotch, vodka. Vodka! I actually need that for the um, purgative, fiery purgative purgative that I still can't figure out what... I'm not even bothered in trying to trade with you for that. Even that! This is this is how good this day is turning out to be. I am even finding pleasure in a single bottle of vodka. Something I don't drink. Hello. Hello, Ezekiel. You're always welcome among the followers, friend. Okay, that's nice. Um stupid enough to steal from the gun runners. Right, yes, my gun runner friend with the annoying mouth. Alex. Alexander, how you doing? Still making a nuisance of yourself. Okay, show me what you got for Take sale. A look. Specifically, how much money have you got? Oh my God! Hello. You know what? I, I probably really don't need any of the stuff you've got for me. Don't take it the wrong way. However, I will gladly take. You know what, actually, I should sell you the bigger value items, shouldn't I, first? It's... Well, that's a pretty big value. Because I'm fairly sure I've got some. Let's have a look. Super Sledge. Yeah, I should sell you that. And the other, the 4,000 thing that I just... It was the really terrible shotgun. That. That's what I should... Because these, these I can sell to people who've only got, say, 2,000 caps. You know, the, the cheaper merchants. All right. You didn't have any rad away. That would have that made me doubly happy to see... 100, th we're in six figures, Pleasure we're in six figures. Later. We're in six figures, ladies and gentlemen. Six figures. My God, I just, you know, today alone, or in the last 24 hours, we've probably made double what we would have made on the Glanton Bounty. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not talking about that, are we? No, no let's not have any depressing thoughts on this beautiful, sunny, profitable day. We're not going to have any negativity. We're not going to think of anything bad. We're going to go through life with a smile and a sunny disposition. Yes, we are. Where are we going next? Gunrunners. Gunrunners, Crimson Caravan. Gunrunners, Crimson Caravan, and the medical... Where's... Okay, there you are. You know what you need, dude? You know what you need? You need a leather jacket. That's what you need. You need a leather jacket. I mean, I've been trying to wrap my minds for a cowboy look for you. 
but it's not. No, you need a biker look. And you know what? It, it might not quite be the theme. I actually think it would work. We get a biker look for you. As long as you don't actually open your mouth and speak, it'll work. Well, you know, sir or it madam, really do you wish to purchase stuns something? me how much crap I've got in the van. How much valuable crap I've got in the van. I am I've still probably got three or four hundred thousand caps worth of spare weapons. Eight thousand. Hello, I'm even happy to see a robot. Oh, God, what is going on today? Oh, yes. All right. Did, did I have anything else down at this? Long fuse dynamite. Have that. I have no idea why I'm keeping it. Unless I can make something with it. Which I might be able to actually. And a really terrible shotgun. And a magnum revolver. They can look at that. 8,000. Did you have anything that I wanted? Probably. You got a lot of weapons, but I, I've just got the best weapons out there, I think. Uh, what about. Okay, no. I'm just more thinking, do you have anything like... No. Uh, you know what? 8,000 caps. 8,000 caps. Let's... Come back and... All right, Crimson Caravan next, which is... We can take the van. We can actually take the van. That really is ridiculously lazy, isn't it? That is ridiculous. Ridiculously li We need the exercise, boys and girls. It's a beautiful sunny day. We've been cooped up in a stuffy canyon. We're not talking about the canyon. We've been lacking exercise for quite some time. Merchant! Oh my god, seriously, I'm just waiting for birds to come and sit on my shoulders and start singing beautiful. Two merchants! Is that two merchants? Is that two merchants? Traveling merchant? Tra oh, fire. Hey there. Need anything? Apparently not today. Apparently today sure. is my is day. Right Got caps as well. Go on. Aid, stim pack, whiskey. Oh, you don't, you, you know what though? You've got whiskey and you've got caps. It's a beautiful day. Oh God, you know what? I, I'm going to have to go back to the van and pick up some more crap, uh, choice merchandise to sell to these fine people. Here, have a tip. Have a tip. I don't actually have enough money for just, I don't have enough stuff to sell to the Crimson hey there. Caravan. anything? There we go. Sure, here's what I got. What have you got? You've got caps. You've got caps. And you've got whiskey. Again, no right away. But you know what? We're, we're focusing on the positive. Yes, we are. A little scary, probably, but we are. Two that you've got 600 caps left. Oh my god, I've run out of stuff to sell you. Have I actually run out of stuff? That can't be the case. You stay right there. That cannot be the case. I refuse to accept that. We've got currency somewhere. Let's have a look. Chems, you're not having my chems, stay away from chems. See, we've got currency, we've got currency. we got tons of this stuff. Oh, that's worth nothing. Legion Denarius. Um, how many? I wasn't sure what that was worth. I'll give you 40, we'll see what that's. It's worth four, you've got about 400. It, you can have another 100, roughly. But you know what? Here, treat yourself. Oh, I thought I was tipping you. There you go. Treat yourself. We have to go back to the van. This is probably why we should have brought the van with us. However, if we'd have brought the van with us, we wouldn't have met these beautiful people and their beautiful caps. All right, let's... Let's drive the van there, though. I'm not making that trip twice. The only way this day could actually get any better is if... I discovered hey a Radaway factory buy or sell? giving free samples out. Show me what you got for sale. Can do. And please, stick with the program. To oh, you failed. 
Oh, you, you're the first person to let me down. You let me... Oh, I take it back! Oh, my God! And whiskey! Whiskey and red... Oh, but did I... I apologise from the bottom of my heart for not having faith in you. I truly apologise for not having faith in you. It was a terrible, terrible thing. I've had a terrible week, but it's not your fault, and how dare I take it out on you? And you know what? Because of that, I'm going to give you an item that's worth way more than... I mean, I don't seem to have anything worth four or five hundred. You know what? You gave me Radaway, and you restored my full run, whatever it is, what do you call it, when you just keep winning, you to keep run, winning streak, you kept my winning streak going, have a minigun. How often do you hear that, eh? See ya. I'm pleased to see you, here's a minigun. Okay, that was not a, that was not a rude joke or anything, that it was an actual minigun I just sold you, so let's just keep that in mind, okay? Just saying. And next stop would be the clinic. And we're right at the clinic. Please have right away. Now, You're a here we go. What, 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 what? Okay. Yes! We got to shoot somebody as well! I was even pleased to see you! After I shot you, obviously, but... Okay. So, and you've got stuff for me, a private bounty. No right away, but... Okay, I'm waiting for the world to sort of just end now. Money... St even that's, I've got 115,000 caps almost now. 115,000 caps. Okay. I've made 15,000 caps in the last few hours, apparently. Just just coming from, from the 188. And I keep finding new items. And right away. And a private bounty. What, what was the private bounty? Data? Private bounty? No. Oh. Let it be known a private. Oh! Severed head of ringer to Felix Cortez. We gotta find this Felix Cortez. Apparently, he wants one of my fingers for 10,000 caps. I say we go give them five of them straight to the face. Anyway! Come on! Come on! Radaway! You know you want to sell me Radaway! Right or just come You're on! Back. Do you need medical attention? If by medical attention you mean Radaway. Right because you're a friend of the followers, I can give you a bit of a discount. On Radaway. Right oh, not quite. But you know what? Radex and Cat Eye! I do need Cat Eye. I can't make Cat Eye. Cat Eye and Radaway are the two things I can't bloody make, which is really annoying. So, I'm going to count this as a win as well. Although, I really don't want to be giving you an item worth... I think everything else I've got is worth... Wait, wait, firebomb. Tell you what, I have a Firebomb. And some Molotov... Cocktail. This seems like a weird thing to give to a doctor, but um, powder charge. They're worth very little. Here, have lots of flammable and explosive substances. I'm sure you can find a use for them. Possibly. If you'd had Radaway, I might have actually given you something better, but but you didn't. So, um, oh, lots of. Radaway right seven. I've got seven Radaway. Right oh my god. I've got seven Radaway right and I've got the where are those fiery 
purgatives. Here we go. I've got 15 of them, and I've now got some... And they will get rid of 50 rads. 50 rads each. Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, right. Um, and... Currency. Currency. Let's dump some currency on you. Oh, God, this is possibly one of the most... Oh, you had 2,000 for... I didn't realize you had that much money. I, I'm taking it back. What? Maybe I should have given you something. That never occurred to me that you might have that much money, to be honest with you. That's, again, I'm, I'm really judging people without actually paying attention. It's, a ter it's terrible. I am probably... This is almost certainly... Give me the firebomb back. You know what? Keep the rest. It's the, the powder charges. They're worth very little. Which is carrying extra weight. Hey, you might find someone you need to blow up and... Hey. Take care. Think of me when you do. Right. Okay. I think, apart from going into Vegas and honestly... And Freeside. Freeside. We could go to Freeside. I just sort of want to stay away from there at the moment just because, you know... The whole Mr. House and the robots thing. It, he might still be peeved. Right now we've got to say what? Orphanage. That's what we're looking for now. Orphanage. Think of the children. Because we're right next right, we're right next to it. Is that our orphanage? Is that our orphanage? I think this is it, boys. This is our orphanage. Is that it? It's a little small, isn't it? New Vegas Orphanage, where dreams begin. It's Jack's Orphanage. And what's with that crappy sign? I gave you 20,000 ca 20, caps. There should be a neon sign. We should have had Michelangelo working on that. It should be like Jack's Orphanage of Awesomeness. And where's the statue? All right, we can knock this... I was going to say building down. And it's a bit squalid, isn't it? What we got here? Orphanage basement. We got a basement. We got a basement. All right. Maybe it's bigger. Maybe they've got a big underground complex that's nice. Couldn't have had a bigger building? I mean, I'm not saying, like, I was hoping there'd be so many orphans around that we need a bigger building, but but I would just assume with the wasteland being the wasteland there'd be a lot more orphans, really. And for 20,000 bloody caps, I was expecting something more along the line. I could have built them something better for less. Seriously, I'm a, you should see my home. I'm a dab hand at this. Give me a sledgehammer and a bunch of random furniture from a vault. I can knock you up a house. Okay, well, i got to be honest. I am not impressed so far. All right, let's go and see. What? Okay, I heard someone drop. Esther! Oh, that's right. You you had a... You're, oh, right, yes. No, sorry. You've got a friendly... Yes, you've got a friendly... Person called Zeke. Okay. Okay, Esther's on something. This is our orphanage? Wait. Where are the stairs? We've got another floor. Where are the stairs? Is it smaller on the inside than on the out? Have we got like an inverted TARDIS here? This is tiny. Oh, 
Well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe just, just shrinks when you're inside, don't you? Okay, it's a little small, and there are no stairs to the upstairs. What's going on up there? You've not even cleaned the windows up. And wait. Aren't we supposed to have, like, orphans? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but orphanages generally have orphans. Small people. Hey. Esther. Good to see you. What do you think of the place? We've already found homes for over a dozen children. Okay. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? So you've managed to find homes for every orphan that you found. Because I've got to be honest with you, right? I bet I could walk into New Vegas right now. Or Freeside and find four or five of them. Probably chasing a bloody rat. Or each other with guns, but... Where are all the orphans? What's with all the extras? Yeah, but... Just... Basement. Yeah, you've got a basement outside. Why have you got a basement? What's with all the security? You Is that where the orphans are? The basement? Hobos and filthy fiends are all over the place. I don't want to take any risks that might jeopardise the children. The mercenaries work at a reduced rate. And Zeke, well, he's free. Where are all the orphans? They're in the basement, aren't they? Okay. What's in the basement? It's a mess right now. You should steer clear. Uh -huh. We've got some cots and mattresses, and I'm working on setting up a classroom for the kids. A few more days and it'll be fixed up real nice. It's a sight better than living on the street, that's for certain. Um, oh, I can help out! I can help out! As I've already told the lads, give me a sledgehammer, dab and I'll have the place cleared up. You've done so much already. I hate to impose any further. Really? We do appreciate it, but right now I think we're all set. You hate to impose, because that would be a first. Following your conversation with Esther, you have a strong suspicion that something is awry at the orphanage. Perhaps you should investigate further and determine what is afoot. Says Mr. Bloody Obvious, the message. Hatch to orphanage base basement. Locked. Yes? She's not going to answer my questions, is she? Is he going to go mad if I... No, there's one... There's, there's a... There's a... Okay, boys. Um... Okay. I'll do my best. I'm beginning to get a horrible sinking feeling about what we're going to find down there. I knew this day was going too well. Okay. Okay, well, that's not good, is it? Oh. Soon after entering the basement, you discover evidence that Esther is operating an underground sweatshop and child slavery ring. You should confront her immediately. I, I can't believe that that is actually not as bad as I was fearing. I had this horrible... I thought perhaps she was making pies or something. I just, just, just... Can't believe child slavery and I'm ever so slightly relieved. <sighs> and there we go. Relief gone. Huh. 
patch to New Vegas Orphanage. Anything? Okay. A teddy bear? Take... Ronald has a letter. Note added, Ronald. Okay. Ronald. They say there's a boy named Ronald. He escaped his mean master and is still running today. I hope I can escape like him. Get away from this place. I don't even know if we'll ever leave. The lady brings us rat meat and water every day, but we're stuck in this basement. Timmy has a cough. Lady doesn't seem to care about us. I just wish we'd stayed in California. It was nice. I remember the sun and the trees. Now it's just dark and smelly. I wish my parents stayed alive. Maybe one day I'll get out of here like Ronald. Maybe one day I'll meet him. Okay, boys, I don't know about you, but, um... I'm, I'm ready to shoot somebody. Let's go through the front door. I want to get a nice clean shot at the super mutant, if need be. Okay. Well, that definitely um, ruined the mood, didn't it? Um. Sure, some rushing water. You guys ready? Okay, well, they didn't attack. Esther! Yes. A word. I know you've been using the orphanage as a front for the slave trade. I found out you've been peddling kiddies. I'm going to bleed you slowly, you heinous... Okay. Um, not quite the words I would have used, but definitely the sentiment. You set up a slavery den with my money and you hid it. I want my coat right now. Okay, we'll go for it. Hold on, just be reasonable. Look, reasonable? I understand you're angry. It's my middle name. But stop and think for a moment. If you want your money, if you want to save those kids, you'll hear me out. Um, what do you mean save the kids? Where are they? I'll tell you, but first you have to give me your word. In exchange for the information, I'm going to walk out of here. You can still um, save them. No. The question is whether or not you're willing to put their lives ahead of your disdain for me. You can leave on hand if you tell me where the children are being held. I give you my word. Um, I'm a renowned liar. I won't agree to those terms. You have to pay for what you've done. I keep a pair of pliers and a blowtorch handy. I bet I can make you talk. I'm liking that one. I don't care about the kids or the money. I just want to watch you die, bitch. I'm only going to ask once. Where's my money? Um. Yeah, pliers. Pliers and the blowtorch. Maybe. But by the time I tell you, those kiddies will be sold to Caesar's Legion. Never to be seen again. You can make a move. You're selling them go save those to orphans. the Legion. Oh, Time you... is wasting, so you better choose quickly. It was bad enough when it was a sweatshop. You're selling them to the Legion? I don't care about the kids or the money. I just want to watch you die. Oh, I... You can leave unharmed if you tell me where the children are being held. I give you my word for what that is worth. The Vipers have them in their new hideout, east of Nipton. It's nothing more than an old cave, really. Supposedly, they've gotten some new blood from outside the Mojave. Real hard asses. They're going to sell the kids to the Legion. You're not a bad sort, Courier. 
You just see things a little too black and white. Good luck to you. That's because I hate great. Oh no, she's gone. She's gone now. No, why can't I never shoot people after I lie to them? Esther has departed the Mojave Wasteland for parts unknown. It remains uncertain if your paths will ever cross again, which is a shame because I'd like to shoot her so that she explodes into parts unknown and I could wear them as jewellery.